साइराम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू अवर लेसन नंबर एट अवर स्केलेटल सिस्टम एंड द स्किन लेट्स रिवाइज वंस अगेन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट लेक्चर सो एज यू नो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न दैट अ स्केलेटल सिस्टम प्रोवाइड्स शेप एंड सपोर्ट टू अवर बॉडी सो यू हैव सीन दैट समटाइम वाइल्ड प्लेइंग और समटाइम एक्सीडेंट्स एक्सेट्रा हैपन एंड दैट टाइम अवर बोन गेट्स ब्रोकन ओके सो दैट ब्रोकन पार्ट ऑफ द बोन वी कॉल इट एज वॉट फ्रैक्चर सो द ब्रोकन पार्ट ऑफ द बोन इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट फ्रैक्चर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट्स टू डू द ट्रीटमेंट फॉर द फ्रैक्चर देन वी हैव टू टेक द एक्सरे इमेज करेक्ट सो द एक्सरे इमेज शोज इज दैट वेर द बोन इज ब्रोकन एंड ऑल्सो इज टेल्स इज दैट द स्पॉट वेर द बोन इज ब्रोकन so that we can give the proper treatment to the fractured bone okay so this is what we have learned in the last lecture and at the same time we have also learned that there are many type of the bone which are present in our body so the different bone which are present in our body they all are of not same shape every bone is different and this bone is giving us the proper shape and support to our body so students and one thing we have already told you that the soft bone which is present in our body the soft bone which is present in our body we call it as what cartilage what we call it as cartilage okay so once again as i told you depending upon the shape of the bone we have classified the bones into four parts okay so what are the four part let's see that over here the first part of the bone is a flat bone okay the second type of the bone that is the small bone third part of the bone is the irregular bone and the fourth type of the bone is nothing but what long bone so these are the four type of the bones which are present in our body depending upon its shape and its structure okay so let's learn about this type of the bone once again so students as the name suggests that the flat bone as the name suggests it is a flat bone flat bone means what here you can see that the bone is completely flat as the bone is completely flat we call it as what flat bone any bone which is flat surface from both the side so that particular bone we call it as what flat bone okay so do you know that where this bone is present this bone we call it as sternum what we call it as sternum so this bone we call it as sternum which is present in the middle part of the chest it is present in the middle part of the chest and this is this is our shoulder bone where it is present this shoulder bone this is present on this side okay so this shoulder bone so this is our shoulder bone and this is our sternum which is present between the rib cage that is in the center of our chest okay so the bones who are flat from both the side we call them as what flat bone okay and most importantly the small bones you can see that the bones which have the smaller size the bones which are smaller in size we call them as what small bones so can you see that over here many bones are attached together so when many small small bones are attached together it is forming the shape of our finger so these small bones are present in our fingers of our hand and it is present in the finger of our leg also okay so these are the small bones which are present in our body and most importantly here you can see that the irregular bone irregular bone the name says that the bone which doesn't have the particular shape the bone which doesn't have the particular structure we call it as what irregular bone so can you see that here it is a bone which doesn't have the proper shape here it is also the bone which doesn't have the proper shape and structure so this bone is called as what irregular bone so where this bone is present this bone we call it as what vertebrae what we call vertebrae where it is present it is present in our backbone region so our backbone our backbone or our spine it is made up of this part of the bone and this bone it is present in our west region it is also called as the hip bone as well okay so the bone which doesn't have the particular shape and structure we call it as what irregular bone and the last part of the type of the bone it is called as what long bone 
what do you mean by long bone the bone which doesn't have the proper shape means what the bone which are longer in size the bone which are longer in size they are called as what long bone so where these long bones are present of course this long long bone are present in our hand region so in our hand region the long bone is present even this long bone is present in our leg region okay so the bone whose shape is long we call it as what long bone and it is present in our hand region and it is present in our leg region as well okay so this is the four type of the bone which are present in a body is that clear students what i told you so these are the four different type of the bone which are present in a body so as students you know that as our body grows as our body grows the size and length of our bone also increases correct so such changes in the size and the length can be seen in the children according to the age however the body continues to grow only up to a certain limit that means after certain limit the size of the bone it won't get increased so the size of the bone it will get increased only from childhood to adulthood so after that there will be certain kind of the limitation am i right and our size of our bone it depends upon this uh, size of that person like let's say for example if the person is taller the bone size it will be taller in that person let's say for example if the person is shorter then that person will be having the short bone in his body okay so depending upon the person's height the shape and the size of the bones it will differ according to the person to the person is that clear so here you can see that again we have divided the total human skeleton into two part just now we spoke about the types of the bone depending upon its shape correct right now we are going to talk about the bone part which we have divided into two equal parts the whole skeletal system the whole skeletal system of our body we divided into two equal part okay so what are the classification of the bone depending upon the skeletal part so here you can see that one type it is called as what the axial skeleton the axial skeleton now what do you mean by axial skeleton axial skeleton means what the center part of our bone okay the bones which are accumulated in the center part it is called as what axial skeleton now second part it is called as what appendicular skeleton appendicular skeleton means what the bones which are on the sides the bone which are on the side region our hand and our leg they are on the side from the center okay so it is called as what appendicular skeleton the bones which are present in the center of our body the bone which are present in the center of our body we call it as axial skeleton and the bone which are present on the side of our body it is called as what appendicular skeleton okay so now we shall learn about one by one what is axial skeleton and what is appendicular skeleton okay but before that let's see that in axial skeleton what all parts comes so here you can see that in the axial skeleton our skull comes this is our skull part this our head this our head part this head bone okay it is called as what skull so the skull comes into the center part or axial skeleton as it is present in the center of our body okay the skull comes under the axial skeleton after that the spine spine means what so in our head region from the back the central part of our back it is called as what spine means what backbone spine means what backbone so our backbone also comes under the axial skeleton and at the same time our rib cage the chest bone okay the chest bone the rib cage it will come under the axial skeleton is that clear so the bones which are present in our central vertical axis they are called as what axial skeleton so in axial skeleton who all comes the skull the spine and the rib cage they all will come under the axial skeleton so can you see who all will come under the axial skeleton so our this skull part our skull and the facial expression everything so this skull part will come under the axial skeleton then after that our spine spine you can see here in the center here in the center part 
the backbone part from the back side the spine will come under the axial skeleton and at the same time here you can see that our rib cage can you see the chest part over here so this rib cage so rib cage spine and the skull it will come under the axial skeleton did you understand who all will come under the axial skeleton and the next part we are going to discuss here about the appendicular skeleton so in appendicular skeleton it's very easy to memorize the part of the bone which are attached to the central part so the our hands okay so our hands are attached to the here into the central part so our hands will come under the appendicular skeleton and our leg leg are also attached to the central part of our body so the leg and hands so leg and hands they will come under the appendicular skeleton are you getting my point over here so our arm region so our arm region it will come under the appendicular skeleton and at the same time our leg region this is our knee part this is our knee part and this is our thighs part and this is your our legs part okay so legs and the arms they will come under the appendicular skeleton is that clear okay so now let's see here once again in axial skeleton who all comes here so can you see that over here in the axial skeleton the skull part okay so in the skull part who comes here so this is our skull part over here as you can see that this skull what is the uh, how this skull is made up of a skull is made up of bones of our head and face okay the skull is made up of the bones of our head and the face this is our head part and this is our face part so the face bones and the head bones together form our skull is that clear are you getting my point and most importantly the bones of our skull are they are flat and the skull is protecting the soft organ which we call it as what brain okay so the important function of our skull is that to give protection to our brain is that clear so this is our skull part now do you know that in our skull in our skull total 22 bones are present how many bones are present in our skull 22 and out of 22 if you can see that over here eight bones are present in our head region eight bones are present in our head region and 14 bones 14 bones are present in our face region got it and only our lower jaw only our lower jaw it is movable and all parts of the bone it is not movable see when we talk when we eat our only this lower jaw is movable no so only this lower jaw of this skull is movable remaining all type of the bone they are not movable at all understood so only lower jaw is movable everything it is not movable is that clear so did you understand about this skull skull is made up of head and face bones head skull has total 22 bone out of 22 8 are present in the head region and 14 are present in the face region is that clear and the next part here you can see that the spine okay spine means what backbone okay spine means what backbone so in backbone if you can see that there is one soft bone uh, which is very hard uh, there is one padlock uh, shape bone which is placed right one above the another and when this padlock shape bone arrange upon one after another they give a rise to the spine or they give a rise to the backbone so can you see here the padlock lock shape of the bone here so this is how the padlock lock shape bones comes looks like so when this padlock lock shape bones arranged on one above another they give rise to the vertebral column okay so here you can see that uh, vertebral column somehow looks like this so this is how our vertebral column or backbone looks like and do you know that there are total 33 bones are present in our backbone and backbone generally we call it as spine as well is that clear and each vertebrae there are total 33 bones are present in the spine and that is called as what vertebrae and what is the function of the uh, basically spine the spine protects the spinal cord what is spinal cord spinal cord there is one delicate uh, organ there is like our brain there is one more delicate organ which arises from our skull which arises from our brain region 
ओके सो टू गिव प्रोटेक्शन टू द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द वर्टिब्रल कॉलम इज देयर सो वर्टिब्रल कॉलम इज प्रोवाइडिंग प्रोटेक्शन टू अवर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड दिस स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम द ब्रेन इज दैट क्लियर आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट ऑफ वॉट इज एग्जैक्टली द फंक्शन ऑफ वर्टिब्रल कॉलम ओके नाउ द थिंग विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एक्जियल स्केलेटन दैट इज द रिब केज वॉट इज एग्जैक्टली मीनिंग ऑफ द रिब केज देर इज वन केज लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द चेस्ट सो देर इज अ केज लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू कीप योर हैंड ऑन योर चेस्ट यू कैन सी दैट द केज लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो द केज लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन योर चेस्ट पार्ट we call it as what rib cage what we call it as rib cage so somewhat rib cage looks like this so this is called as what rib cage what we call it as rib cage and this rib cage here in the central part in our chest central part this is called as what sternum what we call it as sternum and this is called as what rib cage are you getting my point over here guys okay and do you know that there are total 12, 12 pair 12 pair of flat bones are present in our rib cage see 12 pair one pair means two bone so when i am saying 12 pair 12 pair matlab means how much 24 and along with the sternum it is forming 25 bones so total 25 bones are present in our rib cage and they all are you can see that over here total 25 bones are present in our rib cage part okay so now students let's talk about the rib sternum first so as you can see that in the chest there is one vertical flat bone in our chest part there is one vertical strong bone which is present in the center of our rib cage so the bone which is present in the center part of our rib cage we call it as what sternum what we call it as sternum and the sternum it looks like like this okay so this is called as what sternum and on sternum the rib cage are attached understood so i hope so students you must have understood about what are the rib cage and etc so let's revise once again what we have learned today so today we learn that depending upon the shape of the bone the bones are classified into four part flat bone small bone irregular bone and the long bone so as name says that the bones which are flat we call them as flat bone the bones which are smaller in size we call them as small bones and the bones which doesn't have the proper shape we call them as what irregular bone and the bones which are longer in size we call them as what long bones and what else we learn today we learn that our human skeletal system it is divided basically into two parts okay one is the axial skeleton and the second is the appendicular skeleton what do you mean by axial skeleton the bones which are present in the central part of our body we call them as what axial skeleton and in axial skeleton which bones comes in axial skeleton our skull then our spine and most importantly our rib cage and sternum they all comes under the axial skeleton and in appendicular skeleton who comes in appendicular skeleton our hand region and our leg region they comes under the appendicular skeleton is that clear students so i hope so today we discussed about the type of the bone and about the axial skeleton and uh, the next part of the appendicular skeleton we will discuss in the next session bye bye take care